Hi, my name is Philip Bembridge and I'm an anaesthetic trainee. I'm in my first year of training to be an anaesthetist, which means that I've already completed several years of being a doctor in the rest of the hospital and now I'm specialised. Today I was going to talk to you about the anaesthetic machine and what that does. In a nutshell, the anaesthetic machine delivers a variable proportion of gases to the patient to help them breathe, including oxygen. It does that in a controlled way with many safety features and it also has other functions in monitoring the patient's vital signs. And if I can start off by showing you the anaesthetic machine, it looks very large and complicated to start with. I'll talk through it in different parts so that we can get to grips with the key component. Yeah. So on the left we have two screens mm -hmm. which provide the monitoring on the top of the patient's vital signs and on the bottom it tells us about ventilation settings. Ventilation is the act of delivering a volume of gas with a volume of pressure to a patient to inflate the lungs. This green bag here is pretending to be a patient's lungs at the moment. As you can see, it's going up and down, mimicking breathing. The anaesthetic machine is controlling that. It starts off by receiving a pipeline supply of four different gases. Oxygen, nitrous oxide, also called laughing gas, and medical air, which is processed. There is also a yellow tube, which is vacuum, which sucks instead of blows out, and the anaesthetic scavenging pipe, which removes waste anaesthetic gases. These pipeline supplies come into the machine through several safety features and they're controlled with these three knobs here. Turning these knobs changes the number of litres per minute of oxygen, nitrous oxide and air that is delivered to the rest of the anaesthetic machine. This gas proceeds through one or, two, uh, one or no vaporizers, adding an anaesthetic agent to the mixture. These anaesthetic gases is what keeps you asleep during your operation, generally speaking. The two here are isofluorin and sevofluorin. Underneath there's a variety of controls and monitor more monitoring so that you can see the inner workings of the anaesthetic machine. This one here is controlling the anaesthetic vacuum. Uh, this provides suction, which can be used for many different functions, removing fluids, removing air. The gas from this mixture here proceeds to arm through some one-way valves enclosed here, along to the patient, and then back. It then proceeds through either this green bag here, which can be squeezed, providing manual ventilation to the patient. As I squeeze this bag, the patient's lungs inflate. This green dial here is called an adjustable pressure limiting valve. If I tighten it, a great deal of pressure goes to this green bag and the machine alarms. If I loosen it, it releases the, the air from the system and that goes out through the waste pump.
it either travels through this room back or it travels through the ventilator. This tube that you can see going up and down mimics me squeezing the bag so that I don't have to squeeze the bag through the whole operation. This screen controls the ventilator. It causes the lungs to go up and down. In a, it allows you to control the respiratory rate, the pressure that is delivered, and the timings of other components. The air in the system flows in a circle continuously so that only a small amount of gas has to be added. Oxygen is supplied at at least 250 mils a minute and from the patient carbon dioxide is produced which travels through this container here. This is commonly called soda line and it removes carbon dioxide from the circle so that it doesn't go back to the patient. It's very clever in coloured changes. It's used up quite quickly. It changes to pink when it's empty. The small container behind it is a water trap. When carbon dioxide is absorbed, it produces water, extra humidity in the circuit that's removed. What this machine allows us to do is to safely enable patients to breathe while they're anaesthetized. It has lots of safety features that protect the patient, such as delivering a constant supply of oxygen. And it controls very carefully the amount of air and the amount of pressure that is received. So I've talked about the monitoring as well. This is slightly separate in the fact that it has pulse, blood pressure, heart tracing, and it also monitors the amount of anaesthetic vapour that is delivered to the patient from the vaporizers, And it monitors the amount of carbon dioxide that's produced in the system. So that's a brief tour of the anaesthetic machine. We have to know this machine back to front to pass our exams and to use it safely. It can be a bit of a mystery at first. It's taken, it takes a short while to get used to, but now I use it every day and it's very familiar. Thank you for listening. Hope you've enjoyed the video.